There was a game last week, or during midweek there, between Hibs and Celtic, some of the most dodgiest decisions you'll ever see in your life. Dujon Sterling gets sent off against Aberdeen, which I think was an absolute disaster of a foul. Um, honestly, I don't get it. Uh, the consistency is broken in our game, where, you know, two guys go up for the ball, Aberdeen guy takes it, our attacking player, no penalty. Nor did I want a penalty, but apparently the new rule is that, well, you know what, if the attacking player gets hit in a clash of heads, has to be a penalty. It's a, I mean, honestly, man, they make, they make these things up as they go along. They're, they really do. And of course, we've seen just before the weekend with the six clubs writing to the, the SFA, the SPFL, whatever. It was good to see Stanhouse Muir come out in a statement of solidarity with that. I hope I see a lot more clubs, but it's a, it's a mess, man, what's going on. And, you know, it's, it's like comments like Scott Brown's being highlighted over what should actually be said. Like, didn't he even get fucking said post-match? That Naraki one. All the talk was about how bad Celtic are, and, you know, you've got people greeting about it, which, yeah, you know, if they want to cry about how bad they performed against Aberdeen, rightfully so, but it should have been worse, because they should have been doing the 10 men at 1-0. And I'll tell you what, if that happened, it would have been good night. It would have been absolutely, you know, good night, Irene. But the decisions are an absolute joke, and it's other things, man, like even, like, Chris Boyd. After the Hibs and Celtic game, I mean, he's actually saying, well, you know what, I, I think Martin Boyle deserved a penalty there, you know, there's enough contact, he's been down, got a dead five from it, and it, it gets laughed at. Actually, it gets laughed at. But, you know, the conspiracy, the tinfoil hats, the, the, the penalty to Sevco conspiracy theories out there, or theorists. Loon has burst for Scott Brown. Welcome back to big stevie cool 1872 here on the channel and he's you know he's making some pretty bold claims about willie Collum, and you know what even though he had a shocker in other aspects of the game scott brown greeting and crying about willie Gollum, not sending fabio silva off it's honestly pathetic right and we'll get into reasons why Fabio Silva should never have been sent off in that game. You actually look at half the incidents that he was involved with. I mean, that, that one in the first half was a joke. You know, he's, they're both pulling each other. I mean, if anything, I think the other guy's pulling Fabio Silva. You have more, but... And Fabio Silva, like, went up to him. I was like, what are you doing? You know, and I think rightfully so. But um, I look at other things in this team. Uh, in this game, sorry. And among other games that Willie Collins not given, just as, you know, even his, his counterparts, his colleagues, all right? I look at last week, Aberdeen against Celtic, how Naraki wasn't showed a second yellow, I'll never know. No one even, no, I mean, who actually called that out? No one called it out. You know, I'm pretty sure pre-match or post-match, sorry, after the incident, no one even said anything. And here's Scott Brown turned around and saying that Willie Collum, some people can't stand up to the pressure. Look at all the other decisions that Willie Collins gave against Rangers. Hell, Rangers want that Willie Collins to have nothing to do with their football matches. Because, honestly, it's comments like these over, over nothing, man. Fabio Silva should never have been sent off. Well, the one with Naraki. It should have been the, the, the most clear second yellow foil you'll ever see. Ever, man. I mean, the decisions that are going on in Scottish football at the minute are an absolute joke. They really are, man. They are... Absolute mince, to say the least. I mean, if like Rangers were awarded a decision, right, that was a complete joke. Could you imagine the uproar if the presenter and the pundits were outnumbering the Celtic man and laughing like, haha. But no way, man. You know, it would blow up. I think Rangers as a whole and Rangers fans, you've got to look at it and be like, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Title 56 in May. That's the only thing I've got to look at. I don't give a shit about the decisions, well I do to a degree, but <laughs> I know come May, there's going to be one team left in that trophy. It's going to be Rangers folks, but anyway, just thought I'd speak about this because the wrong interviews are getting highlighted, the wrong things are getting said. Things are being sweeped under the carpet, but one club knows a lot about doing that, and it's not Rangers. So until next time, peace.